Hey there, it's Martha and I wanted to, I was not planning to do this at all, but last night I was watching YouTube because I watch a lot of YouTube and um, at Memories and Melts, so that's Michelle at Memories and Melts had her video and it was a December challenge and I was watching it and I'm thinking, oh, that's fun. And basically the idea is that every day there is a, a new prompt and then you, you find wax to melt that day on that particular day. Um, that coincides with that prompt. And then I believe um, my understanding is that this uh, idea came from Kentucky Waxy Girl. I've not watched her video and I wasn't aware of her channel. So now I'm going to go look and watch her, ch uh, go watch her channel and uh, see what she did as well. But uh, apparently I don't, this is a thing and I'm new to um, kind of this wax melting world. And I just thought it was fun. Originally I'm like, well, that's cool, but I'm more of a, what am I in the mood for melter? And uh, I probably wouldn't want to stick to a, like melting certain things every day. But uh, then she mentioned that she's doing this in a, like a, a designated room. And then I was thinking, oh, duh, that's a great idea. So I'm going to be um, using the guest room to melt uh, these different waxes and a warmer I have in there. And I think it'll be fun. And I really tried to pick um, waxes I haven't melted yet at all. So to, you know, go in my stash or, or to pull out of my stash and, and use them. So that is where the idea came from. I am on a lunch break. I'm out of breath because I was running around, uh, looking for all the different things I wanted to do. And so hopefully I can get this up today, which is December 1st. Um, and you would see what I'm going to be melting this month. So Let's start off with day one is partridge in a pear tree. So anything with pear. Um, I had just recently used up perfect and I'm like, that would have been perfect, but I did find something else in my stash that has pear in it. And that is silver bells. So silver bells has a pear note in there along with vanilla and some other stuff. Um, it is a very minty, so you don't really catch pear, but but there is a hint of it there. So um, I'm using silver bells for day one. For day two, it reminds you of a Christmas movie. So that one was like, hmm, okay, what can I use? And then I thought of, you're a mean one. So from The Grinch. Um, so this is your mean one. This is a Harper James wax. And this one has crackling birch, cinnamon, clove, cranberry, and balsam. I have not used these yet, so great way to check that one out. Day three is cranberry or pomegranate. Um, and then I chose, uh, not an obvious one, but berry blessed. So berry blessed actually has, uh, I think it's frosted cranberry, it's sugar or sprinkle, or it's cranberry with like sprinkled sugar and vanilla. Um, I have not used this brand new, so perfect perfect excuse to use it. That smells really nice. So I'm looking forward to that one. Then we have national cookie day is day four. So national cookie day. What did I pick? Oh, I picked, <laughs> I picked Christmas cookies. So this just arrived literally 20 minutes ago. Uh, my second Harper James hall arrived and I'm really, uh, was very excited when I heard the knock on the door. So this is Christmas cookies, peppermint, sugar cookie, iced almond cookie. So um, last week, so right after the Thanksgiving holiday, basically, that Friday, uh, she put up some additional um, bars or brownies. I think this is the brownie packs. Um, she had some more oils left and she was able to make some more bars uh, that were sold out from, the, from her, um, uh, what is it? RTS, I guess, which was uh, November 4th. And I did miss out on like um, this one and a few others, which you'll see, see here. So I was excited to get that. And I will do a haul video of what I got um, from Harper James. Okay. So day four is frosted day. So peppermint, minty, or frosty frosted blend. And I'm also picking another Harper James wax. And this one is frosty. I'm currently melting one bar today. Um, but this is peppermint, spearmint, and cotton candy. So I will use some more of that. Day six, cutting down a Christmas tree. I've used up a lot of my woodsy Christmas notes, so I have a few more coming. Um, but I decided to pick 
for what is this day six yeah cutting down a christmas tree is disney's uh season of magic so this has a tree scent a uh, little bit of something um, that makes it sweet not super sweet but there's a little hint of sweetness in there but it's very much a nice christmas tree uh outdoorsy woodsy uh bar so that's the one i chose for cutting down a christmas tree day seven is gingerbread scent so this one was tough because i don't have anything with gingerbread in it uh so i decided to kind of play on the name ginger bread uh, and find something with ginger in it so i chose sips of cider so this has a uh, citrus like an orange citrus and um ginger so there is a ginger note in here and that's the one i chose i've only used it once and so i'll get to use it some more day eight how the grinch stole chris how the grinch stole christmas uh, for day eight i'm using Grinch mess. So Grinch mess for how the day, how the Grinch stole Christmas. Uh, this is notes of Fraser fir, pine sugar cookie, marshmallow, and powdered sugar. I uh, have used a little bit of this, and I use this in my open concept, and it, I felt it was light. So I'm looking forward to, and I do love the scent. I do really enjoy the scent, but I'm looking forward to using it in a smaller room and hopefully get better performance there. Um, okay. Then we have day nine, Frosty the Snowman. So this is a white wax. And for this, I chose Snow Angel. And I'll use the wax brownie, uh, brownie bar there. And this also just arrived today. I'm really happy about this one. This was, this is peach, banana, citrus, and jasmine. And this is also from Harper James. Um, I wasn't sure like banana and peach. It's it, it's interesting and of like like in excitement. My nose is happy. My um that banana is really good. Banana, peach, and I yeah, I don't like distinctly smell the jasmine, but um the banana and peach is really cool. So I will again do a haul video on the this, but this just arrived. That was Snow Angel. Number 10 is represents a favorite Christmas or winter drink. So this one is interesting because it's going to look really gross. Um, it's just a bunch of wax that is all crumbled up. But this was from a candle, actually. So this is this one is hot chocolate and peppermint. It smells like peppermint mocha. I really do enjoy the scent. This was a candle um, that I got from Beauty Pie last year, and the candle the candle came broken, uh, and so I just basically like scooped up all the wax out of it and uh so that's the wax from it they did send me uh, a replacement which is actually i'm i'm burning downstairs right now um okay so day 11 is international mountain day so an outdoorsy scent i don't have this at this moment but it is supposed to arrive today and that is sweet orange and evergreen from scentsy that scent um i describe it as a christmas tree lot scent um uh, it just smells outdoorsy and like being out in the trees you know those christmas trees and so i picked that one for day 11. day 12 melt a birthday cake or a cake blend so for that one i chose maple rum cake i have melted this one before but this is a brand new bar so it'll be nice to use um, that one for day 13 it's blue christmas so a blue colored wax and i chose um, fresh ice. So that's blue. It's a nice, pretty light blue NHL fresh ice. Uh, this is, yeah, it smells like fresh ice. There's some mintiness to it, like some fresh air. Um, and I've been actually really looking forward to melting this one. So that is fresh ice for, uh, blue Christmas. All right. So day 14 is a stocking stuffer. So this is a candy scent. Um, I picked, I could have, I was thinking of picking pure peppermint, but I decided to go with gimme candy because that's obviously candy in the name. And I have only four cubes left and I'd like to use, finish using this. I do really enjoy the scent. It's just, it is sweet. So I have to be in the mood for it. Um, but I will, I will, be using that up so that's great so day 15 is christmas in july and a summer scent 
Okay, I really struggled with this one because I don't have any summer scents. Um, I love fall and winter, but I did recently get Iridescent, and um, this is the Walt Disney Resort uh, scent that is in their resort or in their hotels. It's a very floral scent. It's got apple blossom, I think peony, cedar wood, and citrus. And um, I chose this one for my summer scent because the two times that I've been at Walt Disney World has been in the summer. And so that will remind me of summertime. Then we have Visions of Sugar Plums. I got a sample in my Harper James Hall of um, Sugar Plum Fairy. So that is what I'll be using on day 16. Day 17 is tea cakes, shortbread, or peanut butter scent. I don't have that today either, but it is arriving today or tomorrow. Um, it is the graham cracker crunch from Scentsy that has a peanut butter note. And my daughter took the one I had opened because <laughs> she really liked that one as well. So that's why I don't have it. Um, but that's the one I'll be using. So graham cracker crunch from Scentsy for day 17. For day 18 is the scent of Santa's beard. Originally I was thinking of, okay, something he would drink, but then I decided to go with maybe cookie crumbs that you would find in his beard. <laughs> so Mrs. Claus cookies. I'm sure Santa Claus will be eating lots of her cookies and you'll get some cookie crumbles in his beard. So that is for day 18. Um, and that's also, this is a Harper James and this is um, strawberry, pound cake, peppermint and sugar cookie. Okay, day 19, Christmas story movie. So steel, fudge or Chinese food. <laughs> I improvised a little bit. Um, I kind of took fudge and thought chocolate. So hug in a mug. Uh, this has chocolate and hazelnut in there. And so I will be using that for 19, which is Christmas story movie, steel, fudge, or Chinese food. Day 20, a wax melt gifted to you or in a shape of a gift. Um, I'm using a sample that was gifted to me from Harper James Wax, and this is Salty Apple, and this arrived today. And this, I really, I love the scent, so. I have, a, I actually have a, a larger bar of that, so um, I want to melt that pretty soon. Okay, for day 21 is a first day of winter, so either winter in the name, or it smells like winter, and I think you all might know what the obvious choice here is winter's eve so winter's eve is uh, a brick that i have i have not used all of it some of it i've melted down into little ornaments uh, to give out as uh as, I mean, samples but uh, winter's eve this one is okay not my favorite so it'll be great in the guest room um then we have let's see day 22 cozy by the fireside date night I chose Fireside Chats. So that one um, kind of just obvious because of the name. And this one smells like barbecue. <laughs> so I've not tried it. Um, there is a little barbecue note in here. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what this smells on warm. So that is day 22, Cozy by the Fireside. Day 23 is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation or jelly of the month, something with jelly or jam. And I picked, I was like, what do I have with jelly or jam? I picked polar bear hug. So there is blackberry jam in this. And uh, that was, was my creative one for this one. So jelly of the month, uh, polar bear hug. Day 24, cookies and milk. I picked maraschino sugar cookie um it's got the cookie note in there um and i really do enjoy this so that is uh using up some of this brick day 25 red or green colored wax i chose north pole um i have this double bagged but north pole by harper james and this is um, spearmint, peppermint, and vanilla. Uh, I really like this one. I've already used two, two cubes of this and um, perfect for red and green colored wax. Then let's see, day 26 is silent night. So lavender or calming scent. 
I do have some lavender bars, but I decided to use, because I don't think there's lavender in here, but I decided to go actually different. And this is Silent Night, so perfect, right? Silent Night and Silent Night. <laughs> um, and this is Cracklin Birch Palo Santo Mulberry Pomegranate and Raspberry. And this is also from Harper James. I've used two, which you can see in the top corner. Not my favorite, actually. Uh, I thought maybe melting it on warm, I would like it. Um, I think I think it's the mulberry or the crackling birch. There's something in here that I'm not loving, so, but I got it. I wanna use it. It's, it's something that I'll use. So uh, that is day 26. And day 27, Meli Kiliki Maka, so a tropical scent. Um, so by the 27th, I should have January scent of the month from Scentsy. And last night I watched the kind of the preview of what's coming in December and the January bar. I don't know the name of it, but it's pineapple, Meyer lemon, and like a blushing rose. Very interesting notes. Uh, but the pineapple is what had me thinking of Hawaii Melikilihi Maka. So we will melt that on the 27th. Then on the 28th is Ugly Christmas Sweater. So sweat, sweater weather or a laundry scent. And I chose not necessarily a laundry scent, but sweater cardigan, cozy cardigan. So cozy cardigan for um, day 28, Ugly Christmas Sweater. All right, day 29, Cabin in the Woods. I am picking cinnamon pine cone. This is December scent of the month and I like the scent a lot. So um, it just like smells like a nice blend to me of cinnamon pine cone and um, some fur, fur balsam, I think it is. Um, so that is for, and it does remind me of kind of a cabin, cabin-y feel to it. So that is Cabin in the Woods, day 29. Day 30, craft or craft store. I chose Very Merry Cranberry. So Very Merry Cranberry I have not used. Again, great excuse to use it. Just does kind of that cranberry note in here. Um, yeah, just gives me those uh, craft store kind of vibes during the holidays. So that is that one. And then Happy New Year Glitter Wax or Champagne Scent I chose. Cheers from Harper James Wax. There's champagne in this one. Um, and actually when I got this one, I actually thought this would be great for uh, New Year's. So that is Cheers. And this has... Uh, this has raspberry, coconut, strawberry, peach, and champagne. So that is it. Those are the 31 scents I will be warming this month. And uh, this is fun. So I, I'm so glad I saw this. Thank you, Michelle, for posting this video. And then uh, credit back to Kentucky Waxy Girl, which I will watch as well. I wanted to post this up just so you could so I can join in on the fun and you can see what I'm going to be melting. And thank you so much for coming. If you like what I am, if you like my videos and what I'm putting out there, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you're going to be joining in or, uh, you know, point me to your channel. If you're going to be posting what you're putting up there, uh, I would love to see what you're doing. So thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.